as I say, the gym leader music, music in this game is pretty epic, right? It actually gets your, your, your blood pumping, right? Is it? Like, yeah. Anyway, so, this NPC said, Faulkner's skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. <laughs> I mean, you're nothing. So here is a blue-haired emo Faulkner. Or whatever. Whatever, nice hairstyle. So I'm going to start off with Bakufon because, I guess it turns out that, um, actually only Gloom is actually the stronger one in terms of, you know, because not only does you know, Onigumo have stronger attack than, you know, better attack than Bakufan, but Bakufan's defense is less than Onigumo's. Now, Bakufan is, of course, faster than, you know, Onigumo, so that may be of some factor, but not a whole lot. So let's talk to him. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I would allow such insults to bear Pokemon. I see, so is that why you forbid Poke you know, people from, like, you know, Actually, there's like no electric Pokemon to be found anywhere near here, to be honest. I'll show you the- So that's why you chose Violet City, huh? You jerk. Strategic jerk. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon! And here we go! Gym leader number one, Faulkner. With the epic battle music and he's dressing traditional clothes. That's not important. What is important is the fight against his first Pokemon, Pidgey, at level 7. This guy knows. Mud slap and tackle. How Mudslap works? Mudslap is like smokescreen. It knows your accuracy, but it also has 20 base power and is a ground attack. So that may be of... Yeah... Um, this could be of some problem, but... Yeah... It doesn't hurt that, you know... It doesn't help that Bakufan's a fire type, so it's kind of weak against ground attacks. So... That's why I'm having, you know, Onigumo as my anchor, since Pidgey can pretty much, Pidgey might as well just rape, um, Bakufan, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of, um, bad. This is just horrible, actually. Not even the last tackle, but fine. And yeah, actually, I mean, to be honest, um, both Jigurita and Cynical are not good for this gym, so... Well, Onigumo is all up to you, I guess. Um, this is worse than I thought it would be, but um, okay, Onigumo. There we go, finish the job. Yes, good job, Onigumo. Yeah! Everyone cheer for Onigumo! Woo! So his next Pokemon is... Oh, Lako doesn't ask why well, I mean, I don't know, I only have one Pokemon remaining. So his next Pokemon is a level 9 Pidgeotto. The evolved form of Pidgey. Even though Pidgey evolves at level 18, so... This is seriously under level. I swear, this is illegal. This guy knows Tackle, Mudslap, and Gust. The only difference is that, you know, this guy knows Gust. A flying attack, 40, you know, base power. That's about it. Ow. Yeah. Um. Okay, okay. I think I actually might use a potion or something. <laughs> Critical hit. You bastard. Okay. Fine, I'm gonna use a healing item you know, in the first gym battle. That's pretty pathetic. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, but it's pretty pathetic of me, uh, guys. Come on. I mean, I am pretty like, you know. That's just, you know, that's, you know. I don't plan to over level my Pokemon, you know, just to have some more challenge here. As uh, this was a little bit. Onikuma, loot to level 10. Yay, Onikuma! It's almost as if I don't have a Cyndaquil. By the way, if because Cyndaquil fainted, it's kind of less happy with us now. You know, same happiness system, I guess. Depends on if you know your Pokemon grows a level or gets some treatment, as you'll see later on, or faints. PC doesn't matter. Darn! My dad's cherished bird Pokemon! They're not even yours. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. We get 900 Poke Dollars! I'm gonna call them Poke Dollars now since Poke Money doesn't make sense in, you know, the grammatic way. And we get the Zephyr Badge. The receiving the badge, you know, has its own music. Nice. Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. Sweet! It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any times so they can flash anyone. Yeah! With trench coats. Here, take this too. And we get TM31. Which teaches. Oh, well, by the way, we put it in a TM pocket, not in our original, you know, ordinary pocket, which is good. 
Why isn't a TM Pokemon Wool incident a new move? New move. It can only, can only be used once. I heard that in the fifth generation, um, you can use TMs as many times as you want. Yeah, so this um, that, that can change things a lot. So this contains Mudslap, even though it's a ground move, and he's a flying type gym leader. It's both defensive and offensive. I guess so. Freaking Pidgey. So yeah, let's look him um, here. So yeah, you can give Pokemon your. <laughs> Anyway, so it's a ground attack, 20 base power. Yeah, um, it's um, all right. No, not how you know Bakufan's. You know, sprite like slowly, if it barely moves at all. And Onigumas, you know, actually, Bakufan's. Oh, never mind. But yeah, check this out. No cry. That's because it fainted, so it's pretty much dead. I guess in a way. Onigumas happy, so happy. So yeah, what is there for us to do now? Well, um, well first of all, oh right, the gym, I mean the call from Pokemon. Professor Elm! Hello, my love, we just covered something about the egg! Oh, I thought it was like, you know, another person, you know, broke into the lab and stole the Chikorita. Or, you know, you know your wife found out about, never mind. Why is this at the Pokemon Center, Violet City? Could you talk to him? Okay, why don't you send him to Violet City? What if I what if I'm way, like way over in Azalea Town and he's you know he said oh, I'm gonna send him to Violet City. I'm in Azalea Town. Oh, then be quick. Eh, whatever. How convenient. How convenient. So let's first of all, as I try, as I try to show you, here is our Zephyr badge, which appears next to Faulkner's face now, and it rotates in an animation. Yay! Did I talk to you? Hey, I did. Let's hear our Pokemon first. Ignore the aid as much as possible. I'm ignoring you. You're being ignored. You loner. You are a loner and you are ignored just because you're a loner. Nah. Let's be nice to loners. Let's be friends. Milo. Long time. No see. I'm awkward. I'm awkward. Like, I'm socially awkward, so I can't really talk to you because I'm a loner since I don't have any friends, so... Um, Professor Elm, like, ordered me to do this, um, to, you know, like, find you, um, yeah. Uh, it was kind of a weird trip, going by myself, and I kind of avoided, you know, talking to people since I'm socially awkward like that. And, um, um, this is what Professor Elm said. I'm not, you know, ordering you, but, yeah, um, he's, he said, would you like to take this, um, thing called a Pokemon egg? Do you want it? Let's say yes. I'm like, look at the egg. Ooh, nasty music. Yeah, um, I think that Elm said, Professor Elm, I mean, Professor Elm said, you know, it'll hatch, and yeah, um, and it has to be with other active um, Pokemon to hatch, I think that's what he said. Milo, I think that we're the only person that, you know, Professor Elm, and maybe me as well, can rely on, so, um, maybe it'd be nice if you can call Professor Elm when, you know, that egg, I don't know, maybe hatches if it can, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay, bye, uh, thanks, <laughs> Awkward. Oh, by the way, I never showed you, but here's like you know. Oh, I did get waste the phone number. Right, I forgot. You can call these anytime, and you can call them. Hi, Joey here. Oh, Mado, you doing well? I'm checking out Mado's moves and devising some strategies. You can catch more Pokemon. When I come up with a good one, let's battle. Right, later. You can call Wade, the bug catcher. Hello, this is Wade speaking. Oh, hi, Mado. Good morning. Huh? Berries? Berries? We ain't got no berries. We need. We don't need no stinking berries. Please wait. No, I won't wait. I want my berries. I want berries. I want berries. So yeah, what we got was a Pokemon egg. That was the mysterious egg that Mr. Pokemon gave us. And it's like kind of moving around. You saw the animation, right? It moves around its eyes sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Normally, when you get an egg, right away, it'll be more dormant, but. This kind of got a head start, so about Pokemon eggs. Um, to hatch them, each Pokemon egg requires a certain, certain amount of steps in order to be hatched. Some Pokemon eggs take longer to hatch because they, you know, take require more steps. Some, you know, eggs um, require less steps for hatching. So, and because this Pokemon egg already has a head start, because I guess you know 
it was already in the hands of, you know, Mr. Pokemon, and, you know, Professor Elm, me included, you know, I guess it's already got head start, so it requires less steps. By the way, um, did I show you anything? Is there anything I wanted to show you? No key items? Okay. So, um, hmm. so, I guess the next destination is for us to go to the Sprout Tower. Even though there's no, we never, we never been required to go here, but it's good to go here anyway. Just because, here's the Sprout Tower. Where, I guess, Bell Sprouts are of some importance. The Pokemon statue looks very distinguished. Bell sprouts are very distinguished Pokemon. Yes, they're so. Yeah, whatever. A bell sprout. Oh, a bell sprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center of the, the center pillar here. So this is potentially a bell sprout. In the anime, when Jesse and James tried to like cut the pillar, I really wanted them to cut the pillar so I can see is there is there a, a bell sprout inside? I want to see the bell sprout. I want to see the giant bell sprout. But of course, the good guys you know had to stop Team Rocket. We never get to see what was inside the pillar. I mean, okay, so, honestly, I don't get the business of the pillar, I, I don't get it. Because there's another tower in the game that has a pillar that shakes, and I don't get it, I don't get it, okay? Sprout was built a long time ago as a place for Pokemon training. Hardridge. Yeah, this place is also pretty traditional. You know, old people, sages, woodenness. Only if you reach the top will you attain an HM. HM? Hmm. I wonder what it could be. 